Okay, okay. Okay. Oh, you did. You. I also did. I don't know who who's. who's <laughs> it doesn't matter. It'll be only, only one place. Only it will be only recording once. Don't worry. <laughs> it won't be like three recordings coming out now. <laughs> and somebody did it at the start also. <laughs> All right. So, yeah. So that's the point. One of the point. Area five. Um, about the SDK. Um, I, I don't know if there are other other updates on any other task. If anybody can update, that will be fine. Or else we'll, we'll see other topic. Yeah, so the Even... only thing I'm asking is for, for next week's summit, um, mm -hmm. all the speakers, presenters mm -hmm. for the SDK mm -hmm. sessions, um, I, I'm hoping you guys are you know working towards that. <laughs> so the, the idea is we have... Um, we have 45 minutes uh, for that slide. Uh, I'm at least giving five minutes <laughs> also to Tao for the for nephew exper experimental. Um, mm -hmm. And then, but and then I don't need 10 minutes for overview. So you guys, you guys get at least about 10 minutes each. <laughs> so that would be Sandeep, Liam, and um, and Vim. So yeah, just a, heads, uh, just, a, just, a head, just a heads up, yeah, Stephen. Yeah. My my. My part was more on the SDK for specialization, right? Okay. But I can mix it. I mean, I can mix it uh, if you want, but I thought we, we mixed that in there, but okay. I mean, yeah, whatever we want to do. Okay. Yeah, I see the, I see the agenda. Fine. Mm -hmm. No problem with that. And Okay. Okay. Liam's not so... here, but yeah. So we just a heads up. <laughs> so. Um, we're not we're not going to meet again before next Monday, which is when this takes place. So just so this... wanna, don't, uh, don't don't be surprised if I put you guys on the spot and say, "Hey, <laughs> present something." Actually, I think before then we have to we have to submit the presentation uh, slides to um, Condon, I would imagine. I when is that? Um, when is the last date? Um, he never said. Actually, that was that's a good point. I I, I should ask him. <laughs> yeah, because he, what what he wants, which is like last time, is he wants a single deck, where so that we don't switch around. So everyone oh. is basically yeah. So he's gonna put all everything together in a single deck. Mm. Um, so he 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 asked for submission at some point. I don't know what that mm. some point is, but I'm I'm guessing before Monday. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay, I think. Uh, so yeah, let me let me clarify. Some with template him is there? Is there some template like whatever the template uh, I, I, when people have used? Think we can use the same. So let me uh Google let me go see if Kenny Kenny gave us something. Um I mean this is what okay. I see in Sig one they have done. Is there a template? Uh, I think we use Google Docs. Uh, Google slides. Google, Google presentations, yeah. I, I would that that's for sure. <laughs> I mean we can upload a P, a PPTX uh, a PowerPoint to uh to, to Google presentations too. I mean, if that's what you're using. So we have to share the link, oh, Google Docs Google. link. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah so okay, so can... yeah, because because I, now I realize because none of none of you guys actually presented on the last summit. <laughs> so 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 <laughs> Condon has a thing where he is uh, he wants to have like a single master deck, so so people don't switch around between the things. There's no technical difficulties where people plug and unplug computers and stuff. So uh, yeah, yeah, that's the point. Yes. Yeah, so let me okay. let me clarify with him when do we yeah. need that. But yeah, so so yeah. Be, definitely before Monday, I can tell okay. you that. <laughs> yeah. So when you share that, maybe we can we can start. Yeah, I'll, I'll, that I'll in, put it on the, I'll put it on this on Slack. Yeah, and that guys. link maybe we can start putting out in the same Google Doc. Okay, right. fine. Or, or or just submit the the presentations that we copy the presentations into the master. Um, that we'll probably and do you, that. Okay, fine, fine. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, and so that... meaning to share share the link. Yeah, submit, <laughs> share the link. And then... Yeah, share the link exactly. Yeah. Uh -huh. Share to you. Okay. Yeah. Other than that, yeah, not nothing much. We'll hopefully see you folks next Monday. Um, then we can we can talk about you know, doing things. Yeah. <laughs> maybe one thing. One thing I wanted to uh, maybe discuss a little bit. Uh, I think given that. Uh, Liam and Fiacre is also here, and I think is, oh. so. On the point of, I, I, mean, I think in the last meeting I made a remark that doing plain um, a flux or uh, helm or something like that 
for the framework that we have in place is going to be a bit challenging. I don't know whether we agree to that or not. <laughs> That's basically what I wanted to discuss. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So I mean, any, any from Fiacra to um, to to make the point of flux. Uh, I'm talking yeah, specifically yeah. to NF uh, NF functions right now, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 of course. Yeah, I guess the 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 the, the, the flux POC wasn't wasn't purely focused on on the which it probably should have been yeah but it wasn't purely focused on on the but we we, we did we did test the free for gc charts obviously um but not not extensively and you know with with all of the the network initiative etc um sorry liam is away but liam couldn't attend today but okay. the sorry. yeah I, I i understand your point and, and it's, it's something that keeps being raised in in that uh you know the, the the flux or argo or they, they're not they, they they don't follow the same uh, the same um, yeah, but what i'm what i'm actually ad advocating somehow is that we need some level of sandwich uh, approach uh, i'm not sure I, which one is is for me open right but uh, i to I, we can also change the architecture, by the way, right? But in the current framework that we have, I, so that's basically where my comments is for NF deployment. You need some level of pre-processing mm -hmm. before you execute Helm. And given that you need to check the existence of the resources and stuff like that, you cannot really do it uh, at, the, at the management cluster. So you have to do it at the workload cluster. Which means that anything you do, I like Flux for me is basically an alternative to config sync, right? So I just I just wanted to clarify why I'm making that statement. And this is the same for the Helm operator, by the way. So it's the same uh, if you look to the operator SDK. So you need to basically do something ahead of it. And I, for me, that invalidates somehow these approaches. But is is there not room there? Is there not room within? Uh, I'm going to use some words I don't fully understand. But in, in terms of specialization pipeline, to code that now. Yes, code but the, now. the problem, yeah, yeah. So you yeah, can do so. But for example, for example, the annotation of the pot, right, with uh, the NAD, mm -hmm. right. So we can do. Uh, I so so today, what happens in the operator is that. First of all, we check whether the NED, uh, we don't basically deploy the operator before the NEDs are applied to the cluster so that they are existing, right? Mm -hmm. Because otherwise you deploy and then you get all this race condition and it restarts and it stops and blah, 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 blah. So, the, so this is something that we added uh, in the beginning. We didn't do it, but we added that to, to do that validation before we deploy. Right, so we wanted to check whether all the NADs are actually uh, available in the cluster, yep. which is at the workload cluster, before you actually deploy. Oh, actually, we the operator actually checks that anyway. <laughs> yeah, but does that not? And then, does that, and not, then, does, that not, does that not? Does that not then lead into you know obviously uh, pre checks and, and stuff like that? But obviously you know, in in terms of dependencies that packages may have. You know, which, yes, but which the problem is, is, is so, another issue that hasn't really been solved, if I'm not wrong. Yes, but the, the question is whether we have to put all that complexity ahead of time to be able to use these type of tools, right? So the, the question is, do we... Because now you're creating a dependency on a dependency controller before you can execute. I always believe that you have to... If you have a dependency that you should validate it yourself at the last at the last moment because otherwise you're basically saying okay I, unless this happens i can work right which is for me it's not a good design because if the thing on top is not doing the job right you fail you see that's what that's my reasoning basically okay so you 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 advocating not having Dependencies check. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm not saying that not, I not at all. But for example, if you as a, as an entity that needs to be deployed need this mm -hmm. thing, 
you should check it, right? I mean, there's no point in relying on something else before you to do so. And uh, that can happen. I mean, whether that happens or not for you, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I'm talking about a robust uh, uh, software architecture. I mean, that's my personal view. I mean, if if I need to, to uh, if I'm depending on something that needs to be there, I rather check it myself than trying to be de- uh, relying on someone else to do so. Because if the other guy doesn't do so, I will fail. Mm-hmm. You see, so that's my reasoning why I'm 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 of the opinion that these checks should happen at the last at the moment where you need them. But they can. I I don't uh, exclude that they can happen before, right? So that that's uh, an option. But my point is, if that thing on top doesn't do the thing, yeah. then I should not build software that fails. Uh, I understand, but yeah, I'm not. It's maybe I'm, I'm, I'm taking the discussion in a different direction. But I remember there was, there was some talk around developing an operator which would handle the dependencies between packages. Yes. Was that? Yes. Yeah. And we are, so, we are discussing that on NF2 Infra. But I yeah. mean, it might or might not solve this case. Hmm. Yeah, I, I, do you know I, I'm I'm not uh, the 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 flux the flux approach was was a, was a POC. I know I, we we kind of we 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 pushed it into you know to maybe just ultimately to to ease the the uh, the onboarding uh, learning curve for new vendors. Mm-hmm. You know, with, with with pure Helm, that's that's just the difficulty. And, and there there are there are, there are many there there are other other solutions like Gargo. There's other and then. You know, the I, I, I gotta say, I never, I never, I never ran, I never ran the flux. Uh, I think it's called a flux uh, uh, controller, right? The flux controller, the, not the flux, the, the helm controller. So the, the the helm controller is from flux. The the, the helm operator is from operator SDK. So from the mm-hmm. from the, the helm controller exposes a set of CRDs that points to a repo actually, yeah. and and a particular helm charts and a particular version of the helm charts. Um, Pretty much. And, yeah. then, and then so so when you updated that CRD to CL. Um, the um, the 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 Helm controller fetches the latest um, Helm charts. It triggers uh, a record and then, earlier, and yeah. then and then yeah. within that it would it would contains the values that YAML already, so it would basically deploy that Helm chart onto the cluster. Unle- unless so it's that... unless it's unless it's referencing a a config map. Yeah. Um, so, to, so what, yeah, what would to, happen to, if it's reference to a config map? So it doesn't deploy. It would just sit there and. So it, and... it would it would it, it would use the, the the local config map to 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 deploy or you know to deploy or to update itself. So the config map would contains the values the value mm-hmm. for your values that YAML. Mm-hmm. And as Tal basically. mentioned before, it, it's it, yeah it's 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 a string. It's it's not really it's not really you know it's not a. Okay. Valid, valid so they're probably yeah. JSON. They're probably JSON file the whole thing anyway. At the end. But anyway, yeah. so 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 the the idea would be if we're using Flux, um, the whole thing, um, uh, the lifecycle management of the Helm charts goes into Flux. Um, we'll push it into Gig. So let's assume Gig access is there uh, for Oracle cluster. Um, then then we the the idea would be we auto generate the config map. Um, and and push it in while um, with the change of config the the change of config map is going to trigger it's going to trigger the the helm controllers to redeploy uh, the charts right I'm guessing change on config map possibly not but there there <clears throat> there's a missing there, there's a missing theoretical part of, of the of the of the of the flow if you like in that the, the and uh, Vim, you've been privy to the conversation and and others but mm-hmm. there will be some mechanism there to Pre-process, pre-process, and provide the values. Yeah, so that that's that's nephew specific. Mm. We have to write that no matter which direction yeah. we go. Yeah, so yeah someone yeah. has to write that. So yeah. after writing this, whether or not this becomes a CL for say operator, the operator SDK case it becomes a CL for this this particular case it becomes a config map. Um, and then and then that the pre-processing translates your extension, vendor extension CL and the nephew CL into what you need to actually deploy this arm chart. Uh, that would be in the format of whatever. So this, in this case, you said it's config map. So config map get pushed. Um, we just need some mechanisms to basically ask Helm to, or the, 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 the flux to actually redeploy it. Um, because that's, that's almost like operator SDK. Um, so in a way. 
So, uh, mm -hmm. so I'll be going in this direction. So let's let's uh, take some sort of decision here. I think we've been discussed about flux and all these things for I think extensively. So win point I think I understand is that are we going in this direction? Like initial, what I understand is is not the right choice in, in my opinion is what he's saying. So if we are going in that direction, so are we taking some sort of a POC task to adhere to the what nephew wants right now in this meeting? I, I think I think it's worthwhile. Maybe maybe okay. I'll I'll take on that after NF deployment, uh, NF topology. The uh, the 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 idea is if I write some sort of things that would take let's say for free five GC, it would it would take well UPF is crappy because it has no extensions, but maybe SMF. I'm not sure. So, so we would, or maybe just make one extension, which is the the image, uh, uh, the image uh, path. Uh, use that as an extension. So we would it, write a thing that would preprocessor that would take NF deployment and uh, and this one little extensions uh, and and send it to create generates a config map and see if we somehow trigger flux to redeploy. I just I just want to see what or not. So what what's what's the thing that actually is stopping us from doing that? Is it is it is it something that is very, is it blocking <laughs> design-wise? Because Vim's point is it, it's not aligning with the design, with mm. architecture in general. Yeah, I, um, I, I yeah. But, yeah. but doing that uh, pre-processing is not easy. I also believe, Stephen, if you go to the mm -hmm. direction that we go today, the NEDs are kind of implicit, right, to reference. I'm also of the opinion that we have to reference them as config reps. I saw in the, sorry, parameter reps uh, going forward. Oh, because that means NED? that... Okay. Yes, I, because I, you, these are all resources that you expect uh, in that NF deployment to be there before you actually uh, continue the deployment, right? So that's for me what mm -hmm. the parameter ref is. All of these resources should be actuated on the cluster and in a ready state, uh, if you can check it, uh, mm -hmm. before you actually deploy, right? These are all kind of preconditions that are explicitly mentioned. Okay. So and so, so as such today, in NADs, that case, we, the, we did the, NAD, the NAD generations, the NAD generations would happen outside of the Helm charts. Um, yeah, so so that is two that is two things that we have right now. One is the pre-processing. The second thing I think what we do in Nephew today is we want to decouple the infra from the NF, right? Which means that mm -hmm. uh, even in Nokia today we have NADs, we generate NADs, but I, my personal view is this is wrong. I mean, this is not. Yeah, right. I remember. I, I remember I, seeing your home charts. You do. You, your NAD is part of the home chart. Yes. Yeah. So I, I <laughs> yeah. told it five years ago. This is not going to. I, we'll have to change it at some point. So mm -hmm. that's why, for me, there is two things. The one is we have to do this pre-processing. The second thing is we have to update the home charts a little bit, uh, so not too much with this. Uh, if I, I call it the if nephew statement, don't uh, mm -hmm. execute this. What we can also do, I, I. So that's another thing is that. We could, if you do the sandwich approach, when you render the Helm chart, I think uh, some deep with your approach or when we use the regular Helm uh, rendering uh, thingy, mm. we could actually remove, I, we could, <laughs> uh, I don't know whether it's, I, I like it uh, <laughs> from a design point of view, but <laughs> if we don't want to update Helm charts at all, mm. what we could do is we can do some post-processing uh, to actually remove some of these resources, strip the node. But but that sounds very hacky, actually. I yeah, yeah correct. I agree. Yeah, so that's, that's why I, I did not bring yeah. it up so far. But okay. we could even do something like that if we. But are you going to hit the issue with? Uh, but your 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 issue with the the, the network attachment definition issue is 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 there no matter what, right? If, if I'm not wrong, like. So even, the, see, there is two even, things. Even, uh, if we don't... Even, but, but even sorry, but even with even with the even with the cap packaging, um, yes. the the nads are the nads are passed in as part of the cap package, right? I do not. Yes, yeah, they are. But so that's why I'm saying is in the current framework. So that's why I made uh, this this uh, thing in the current framework. I believe I so there are people that don't like us to generate on the management cluster. They want to do it on the workload cluster. But for me, that doesn't change the architecture because whether you I, what we don't want to have i think is generating them within the workload within the network function itself so they either come from the management cluster or from the workload cluster but not from the nf itself 
right? But so, but I, but I guess sorry, this discussion has probably gone off. But but I guess that 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 leads back into you know some form of dependency operator and also the work that you guys are looking in in terms of NF to infer, right? If I'm not wrong, it just well, no, no, that's, no. So, that's so, where so, it, is, it, well, so it doesn't it doesn't have to. Uh, what, what so so operator today actually uh, checks if the NADs are there and then it keeps on reconciling until okay. the NADs yeah. are there. So we okay. we we expecting some higher layers infrastructure layer infrastructure automation layers yeah. to create the NADs that are needed for this deployment. Um, but then we'll be waiting for it to. Well, I mean, it doesn't. So it, a it doesn't mean that you you're building your operator this way. But then we did build it this way, and it will be a great sample to use. For as Wim said, um, general principle, it will be it will be great if if the the one who needs it will be checking if the resources are available, uh, because we don't we can't synchronize. It's an asynchronous system in general, um, yeah. which is which is okay. Yeah. So 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 if you if you if you if your NAD in your Helm charts is like the free five GC the, the orange one from free five GC, uh, then the free five GC one from orange, um, they they do have a flag to turn off NAD generations. Uh, that would be great. Um, so, so things like this that, that may need to be modified. So maybe, maybe we can just use the Helm charts as is. Um, no, which... I, from, from experience, from playing around with it, I think the, the, the charts would need updating no matter what. Yeah, I think, but yeah. Yeah. Right, Tal is okay. but I, I see some benefits of Flux because they do lifecycle management of the, of the charts. So you can upload new charts and automatically pick it up, which is something we, we wouldn't have. Uh, and, and, yeah, and yeah, honestly, yeah. and honestly, we wouldn't want to build in in. in you guess, yeah, you I think pull, see, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Stephen, maybe I, I mm -hmm. okay. Let maybe Dal raise, but I think we can. Yeah, yeah, that. Uh, we can do that yeah, sorry, uh, easily. By the way, but yeah, maybe yeah. let Dal ahead, first. Yeah. Uh... yeah, yeah. Go ahead, Dal. Uh, sure. So I, I think we're jumping around between a few different topics here, but um. Uh, on the topic of, you know, NAD generation and the workload cluster, yes, I'm one of those people who advocates that, but I'm actually agreeing with uh, a whim here that even if we do that, you still need, you know, an equivalent of an NAD, right? Some sort of higher level abstraction. That, that's all I'm saying, right? The, the actual details should be generated uh, where they're used <laughs> in the workload cluster, but you'll still need, you know, some topology that says, hey, I need this kind of interface, somebody else provided for me, but the design, the day zero design still has to be there. All we're talking about really, I think, is day zero design validation, right? Make sure your design is correct and can be deployed on day one, right? There's a, obviously, you don't have to do any of this, right? Uh, to Wim's point about robust software, right? You can just try it and see. <laughs> this is the world of Helm, right? Because Helm generates YAML, right? And there's actually no guarantee that any Helm chart would generate even correct YAML, right? It's a text templating, right? So, so it might even break in terms of YAML, let alone um, you know, being deployable on a specific uh, site, <laughs> right? So we can say, live on a wing on a prayer and just you know, try. And if it works, it works. If it doesn't work, you're gonna see our errors. But there's so much we can do to avoid that, right? So there's stuff we can do on day zero and I, I will have to push a language like Tosca that, you know, is a very uh, validatable language, you know, very strong in that respect. So you can really validate your design on day zero with all kinds of rules that you can set that you cannot do with just schema validation, right? But otherwise, uh, a whim is exactly correct. You know, if you're doing the, if you have logic on the management cluster that is already custom, you know what you need. Right, so you can do that validation of the day zero design before you even get to day one. You can give yourself an error and say, this won't work, right? I'm, I'm missing some detail here in the blueprint. Um, so, so I think it's up to us to decide how far we wanna go that way. It's not a necessary feature per se, technically, but I think uh, there's so much we can do here, right? And, and I think this is the, the current deficiency of the operator SDK approach where it doesn't even validate the schema, right? That, that kind of minimal, aspect of uh of uh, the inputs right you don't know if the inputs are actually valid <laughs> uh anyway thanks i i a lot yeah. of different topics right I yeah touched on all of that. See, uh, from my point of view this flux thing we have to take ownership now uh if this is the approach we are gonna try then i think someone i wish someone can volunteer right now maybe if Yakra can do that if he wants to see what is all the nephew compliance and nephew way of doing and if really wants to integrate with, 
with flux and what are the things has to be done as per the poc so steven or fiaka if you can yeah, take yeah it I'll, up. I'll, I'll i won't get so to it we can, until we can stop a little later I mean, but yeah but yeah. I, I think i think it's probably worthwhile that I, I'll, I'll yeah then it. we can leave it to that i think mm -hmm. for a further investigation and with whatever we have discussed okay yeah i think sure, yeah. so yeah, sorry. I, I, yeah, but I, I didn't. I guess, I guess the, the flux the flux approach was, was was just one approach. Obviously, I'm I'm currently looking at just having playing around with Argo CD. So, mm -hmm. the, maybe maybe I, maybe I shouldn't to to avoid complication. But Argo CD was more more in line with with a replacement for config sync. But yeah, we can um if 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 there needs to be more uh, something more concrete from the the flux POC then. Well, See, we need I, to I, decide on that. That's what I'm saying. That like, yeah, yeah. Let's, we let's have a lot of ideas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We have a yeah, lot let's... of ideas, a lot of suggestions. So we have to take this one of the things as part of this. If we really want to go in the flux way, someone has to just take this and suggestion but implement that. Does that does it block the SDK work in some no, way, no, or no, if it doesn't? No, no. no, no. Yeah, it, it shouldn't no, be. Yeah, I mean, the, I mean, no. We the, the 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 helm the helm support is an item, but you know, we we can yeah. we can build I mean, things. Yeah. while this is being being this, this developed yes it, it's absolutely uh, worthwhile so, yeah. Yeah. yeah sorry Vim was yeah, supposed yeah. to be next when <laughs> when when house yeah. but house done so sorry go ahead Vim. no no uh, yeah. see i sorry the, yeah liam you go first you go first liam yeah yeah, oh, yeah no, i was just sorry Liam. i think you had your hand up first then i uh, somehow i jumped the queue with him <laughs> and go ahead Vim. oh it's fine because i have this limit go ahead sir liam go ahead yeah. No, no, I, I, I'm just saying that the, whatever we do in the SDK it should work with the flux or it should work with the, it should work with, the, say, an operator type SDK. I, I don't see why there should be any, you know, problem. I mean, the flux is there, you know. So if if, if we're doing something to generate input for, uh, you know, for Helm, I mean, it, you know, if we say we, we, the flux controller, the, the approach is already there working. So, you know, why not, you know, it just it, it just makes life easier for to convince people to go for the you know on the nephew year old when they have a lot of install base and it just you know so i don't think we should say that you know i, I think you know we don't have to say that we're only supporting flux but i think it's important to you know to have that option there for people it might not be an option that we you know like to support in the long term but i i do think there's merit in having it you know yeah, my question is my question is the following, Liam. Up to this point, so that's exactly the point. Is how do you see this working, right? Because okay, so my view is this. Okay, we will get something from the management cluster. We need to pre-process something, right? Yeah. Okay, so so we will pre-process something on the workload cluster, right? And we split an output. Let's say it's a values.yaml file. How do we? How are we going to feed it into Flux? It'll go through the um, it it'll uh, it it'll go it'll be put in as a, uh something into the into the package variants when you actually create the package. No, variant. no, no, we are too late. We are at the workload cluster, right? So we are at the workload cluster. There's going to be what I call the preprocessor that is okay. going to check NED. So it runs on the workload cluster. Now, how do we feed it back into Flux? I don't see how we are making that work. The, the entire the flux works. Flux flux works as long as we stay on the management cluster and we generate values of the AML, which goes into a help chart and then render it down. But I'm of the opinion that you have to check this dependency at the workload cluster at the last minute, right? Because that's where you need it. For, and for so, so, in other words, yeah. No, for the NF, we are talking. I'm talking specifically in network functions at the moment, right? So not in general flux. I just network functions are a framework yeah. that we have. So that means that we are going to generate some values.yaml from there, right? So my okay. uh, view has been always, I feed it into a Helm support function, right? Which uh, from deep as a prototype, as a new prototype, I would feed it into the regular Helm rendering system, right? I get okay. an output mm -hmm. and I use KRM. I, so I use a system to basically apply it to the cluster, even can do validation and what have you. That's my approach, right? I think. Sandeep's approach is mm. basically I have a special uh, help generator mm. and uh, with some new code and he is doing something similar that I'm doing, but uh, he will he has specific code for Go 
whereas mm -hmm. I just use the Helm generator as is, mm -hmm. and then I apply it, right? So I don't even feed it I, because I don't see how I can feed it back into to a Flux uh, system because typically it's GitOps focused and I'm too late already. So the whole, we are through that chain already. That's where my reasoning comes from. I, I just want to, to see how we can make this work or maybe clarify my reasoning, why I'm saying yeah. this. Can I just input like, can we just take this in, in sort of a document format saying that what are the problems you see as part of this uh, flux things and what yeah. are the answer we need? And then we go step by step clarifying, you know, if it is possible. I mean, we can go in that way, I'm saying. So we have already got a document. Yeah, we, yeah. Yeah, but let's uh, add it to the TALS to yeah. document that TAL initiated, right? Because there's no point in copying. But I think yeah. we should basically clarify the challenges that we see with the various approaches. Yes. And see how all, we accommodate that. Yeah, yeah. I, I has shared it. Huh? I think I missed it. Yeah. yeah. Fine then. We'll we'll go in that way. Okay. And we'll we'll update this uh, this flux things in the TAL document, and from there we'll we'll go on and see what are the things challenges required. If we can solve it, if we cannot solve it, we'll take a decision at some point of time whether we're going it or not going it. And if you're going it, someone has to just take an uh, approach what if you suggest. Okay, so we'll, I think we can leave it to that for this topic, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah, okay, that's fine. Right, so fine then I, I have taken the liberty for to put on one more agenda for this meeting is about the WG4 items which Big uh, One has, you know, uh, suggested so maybe uh, Tal can help us with that uh, in this meeting maybe we can decide who what are the I mean I, I also wanted to have some clarification I mean what are the points because initially let me just try to find out the document yeah so this was the document I had seen way back so UI helm operator CRD Tosca these were the topics, uh, Helms related things were part of the WG4 initially, I thought, but Tal can update on that. What is the latest on a WG4 and what are the requirement for uh, WG4 from the yeah, point I, of view? My, my update is that I don't think that the work groups were very well designed from the starting point. Um, mm -hmm. Right now, Sana is putting, so, you know, we talked it with Bernard about work group one owning modeling. Mm -hmm. So Tosca moves to there rather than an issue. Um, I, I think it's all over the place right now. Honestly, mm. we just created a fifth work group too. Uh, is that really necessary uh, for uh, SIG1? I, I really question all of this. I wasn't part of the initial meeting that we created mm. the work group, but I, I don't understand why we need so many. And... Uh, I don't entirely understand how they were grouped together. <laughs> I, I think okay. they were trying the, to the meeting. The meeting logistic would be would be nightmarish. <laughs> it's already nightmarish. Um, it's already nightmarish. <laughs> we're trying to have the other work groups meet, and they're really struggling to find time. I know Alexi is trying to make a meeting regarding ORAN. You know, here's the thing. You know, I, I think what happens is people care about very specific topics and want to discuss them, and they don't care what the forum is. They're just saying, when will I be able to raise this topic? And then we'll say, oh, let's look through the work group list <laughs> and see which one is the most relevant according to the description. Um, I, I think what we did in SIG2 regarding task forces is more practical in my mind. The idea being is that, okay, we try to work in the main group and when it just becomes too much and becomes distracting, then you branch off and create a task force for that specific topic. So it could be, hey, let's branch off on doing ORAN, right? But mm. we don't have to create a whole work group and call it, you know, use cases in ORAN. We branch mm. off for this topic. Mm. And if we ever finish branching off, we just close it. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, none of these has, have to be permanent. The, the charter given to us by the TSC lets us create as many sub-projects as we want whenever we want. The TSC doesn't care. Mm. Uh, so, so, yeah, I just think the idea of creating these standing work groups with numbers was a little... Uh, uh, too much. Anyway, I, I think I'm, I'm distracting here. Um, mm. We have these work groups right now, and mm. next week in the summit, we will present things with the work groups in parentheses at least. <laughs> um, and uh, um, yeah, we'll, we'll just see how this works moving on. But uh, I'm currently really confused about what moves where. You know, uh, UI and UX is use cases, but also work group two is use cases. And if modeling is part of architecture, but then we all do architecture. <laughs> I, I uh, yeah, I'm, I'm lost. 
but um, okay so let's take this uh, in a step by step in the sense what are the tasks which we have right now okay so we have some sort of sdk task we are actively working on it um we have that 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 constitute initially i thought helm and all those things uh, part of it maybe the nephew crd uh, converter and all those things so where you know some kind of a comes under the broader umbrella of uh, designing or developing a nephew sdk so is it what you call an sdk kind of task task force and what do you approach and what is the thing which you like whatever you understand from the meeting what do you understand if at all see we, you you're not scrapping this one right here it is there and it is going to stay so what are the tasks you see at the broader level for wg4 and last very specific question for one group at least Are you there? Yeah, what was the question, Sandeep? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm asking is that what is what is the current task for WG4? If is the SDK the development? No, 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 for not for summit. In general, what we're doing is uh, the SDK development. Do you see that that's part of the working group full? Some sort of is coming under this umbrella or not? So I, I guess it's a question for everyone, but I, I yeah. I, I think user, so. user ex, UI and user experience. I mean, the mm -hmm. user, I guess, we're assuming is vendors in this case, but um, we can think of two other kinds of users at least. <laughs> For me, I'm I not thought sure. I'm the user. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Who's the, who's yeah. the user? The telco, right? The customer, I guess. But no, if it's SDK, well, yeah, it affects the telco's experience too because it, it affects the architecture in uh, day zero design. Yeah. But I'm... Yeah, I, I'm confused. Yeah, okay, fine. I, 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 I think so. I think so. You get the, the users are multiple, multi, multiple, right? I mean, the vendors are users, service providers are users. Through SDK, we are actually helping the SDKs to, sorry, sorry, vendors to onboard their workloads. That's yeah, their user. That's, that's what I thought initially. And, and providing the, yeah, and providing the APIs, for example, some of some things like Stephen is doing to, to the, Topology controller as an example, that is providing an experience for an outbound interface. That may maybe somehow the other orchestrators or OS systems may integrate with that. That's also user experience. So obviously the UI is it's very straightforward. I mean, uh, how to? So I think uh, uh, Sandeep, I think uh, hmm. I, I yes, I think whatever this belongs to this group. That's my. Yeah, uh, that's what I thought initially, and I'm continuing that because that's interest for me because I wanted to onboard our our all NF and yes, see yes, how so easily the I can the SDK, do that. I, I kick off the SDK effort, obviously tailor for vendors to get on board. So that's that's yeah. my that's that's absolutely the primary goal. So the okay, SI yeah. or telco may be able to go in and and do use the same tool to do their own stuff. That's yeah. fine, and then we should address yeah. this specific use case moving forward. Yeah. But the 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 the, the P zero the the most the highest priority things for the SDK effort is really to address the vendor's needs. Okay, okay. Wim, you have something to say? Wim? My original, uh, or I, I think the UX is broader than purely SDK because I think the niche, I, from my recollection from this working group, the UX was uh, a, a question from John, right? Because today we built a UI. On the, I, so that's one aspect. I'm not saying all of them. But we are building a UI on, I, as a, for the demos and stuff like that. But normally SIG1 should give us requirements and stuff like that, but none of so we are not getting anything. So what John okay. was after, or at least a part of it was, was after is what is expected from user experience uh, okay. from the SIG1 point of view. So this was definitely one aspect. So, and for me, that's not necessarily linked to the SDK. Uh, but that's that's another uh, UX as aspect that, yeah, it's not, that was it's not, considered it's not even, to be. It's not even related, no. <laughs> Correct. So, so that's why I'm saying is this working group is a mismatch or a mix match of uh, various uh, topics, uh, and I'm not sure whether it's wise to keep them together somehow, right? I'm not trying to separate them, even if there is one or two part of which we are working as per the expectation, I'll be okay. And if you say that SDK and is part of the kind of a user experience for many people like operator and all the things, so fine for me to continue. 
Uh, if we yeah. get more for, for the UX, so yeah, something the for UX. the UX, you need you need people. I, in my view, the most important people for this is the operators, right? Mm. Yes. For UX, huh? I so I'm talking now the 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 portal that we have. Ah, okay, portal. Yes. Okay, so I mean, I mean, I mean gate side uh, that's different. Yeah, yeah sorry. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I mean, you, that's what I wanted to clarify. So Tawale is also saying that he's a little bit not sure. So I think we'll 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 talk on this one and get more clarification in some other other uh, I think Sigwan itself to what they say and whenever we have a chance. But for the now, I think we can. I mean, what I understand from all of you that we can continue the SDK part. Uh, we're anyway not calling. I mean, I don't know whether it's called as working group four or not, but it is a task which is I think important and everybody agrees. Some of the points is written here, like Young, Toskai, CRDs, Converter. So from some sort of a comes into picture of SDK. So I think we can continue that until someone really stops us saying that, okay, this is not part of it and stop it. Okay, so I'll, I think I can stop at, at this and get more clarification on UX point specifically in some other uh, meeting. Okay, um, I think, um, that's it from my side for this today two agenda we had. If anybody else has some sort of questions to be asked here, can can raise their hand and ask. We have another five to seven minutes left. I know I cut down a lot of things. <laughs> so so Tal, I, are you? Do you think we are covered for the summit? Ah. Uh, <laughs> I, I hope so. I'm I'm so stressed with all of this, to be honest. Um, uh, I think so, but you know, I I need to reach out that everybody is listed, knows that they are listed, that they're preparing a propo uh, presentation and are ready for it. Uh, something I want to do today and just chase everything and make sure everybody knows what they're set up to do. <laughs> um, yeah, Tal. I mean. If you if you think if you need any help or anything, please give a shout out to me. I can help you with that. I, oh, I, I really appreciate it. Um, I I might uh, I I might actually take you up on that to chase some people. <laughs> Maybe we can yeah, separate yeah. some of the, some of the work. Yeah. Um, yeah, we can do that. Yeah. Yeah. Just to, since uh, this topic is raised, I'll just say maybe some some typo is there. Bare metal. Did you want to say Sandeep Sharma instead of Sandeep Jaswal? I yes, you are absolutely correct. <laughs> I apologize for it. Yeah. yeah. No problem. Uh, yeah. It fills it in automatically, you know. <laughs> you can you can do it too, Sandeep, if you want oh, to. Oh, is it? <laughs> I knew that. But I didn't know that it's Sandeep Sarma, but I just wanted to clarify. <laughs> because there's only one Sandeep I thought Sarma Sarma is the one, so but I can't I don't want to do myself. <laughs> okay, Liam, you have a raised hand. Uh, is it old one or this now? No, no, it's just uh, actually it's kind of slightly off topic. Just Vim on on meeting for well, in my time zone tomorrow morning, I seem to be the only one that reacted. If if you know if you, if you, if there's nobody else coming to it, uh, maybe we, if I'll just listen to the recording, you know. Oh, the 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 the, the reschedule uh, my... NF2 infra yeah. meeting. Is that what yeah, you're my, uh, my... If it's if it's there, I'll I, I'll I'll attend to. This okay. time I will use the right bridge. Oh, uh, I'm really confused because I see actually Sandeep Charma on mine. I did it correctly. Um, I'm wondering what you're looking at here. Reload uh, the page. Reload this is the off page. topic. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah it, it is off topic, but I'm suddenly really worried. Um, when I look at this page. Yeah, it's gone actually. Yeah, I just did refresh now. Yeah. Okay. okay. Thank, yeah. Yeah, I, Sandeep okay. Charma. <laughs> I was surprised. I do. I can't tell the difference between the two sentences. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's, a, it's yeah. a lower case on this one. What are you talking about? <laughs> it's so easy to tell difference. <laughs> Shall well, I Stephen, are you going to join? Are yeah, you going yeah. To join so if, if the meeting's on, I'll, I'll join. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Then I'll 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 I'll. So that Liam can have more 